so this is the third module uh, of creating that remarkable content part three now as you have heard the saying that uh, the heart is where the home is or where the home is there's the heart is the point i am trying to make over here is that the web page the home page of a website is the core location it is the it, it is the heart of the website the home page is the page where the organic search results land uh, in uh, as opposed to the paid content and if you look at the home page of your favorite websites uh you may you may you may feel that there there is a similarity in those home pages of your favorite websites now that similarity is not a coincidence that similarity basically is that these websites the home pages of those websites uh they are covering the fundamental aspects which should be there in the home page because the point is that you don't get many opportunities uh to have that visitor come back to your home page if that visitor has already visited your home page so you have to ensure you have to captivate the interest you have to captivate the motivation of that visitor to your home page so before we go into the more details remember that writing that remarkable content winning the half battle the other half of the battle is uh, making that content available in an easy to navigate in an easy to find manner for the visitor who come to your website so as you can see over here that we have the home page over here okay then the home page is further divided or connected to the sub topics or categories over here and then we have the content so the advantage or the purpose of this architecture is that the visitors to your website they are easily led to what they are looking for and your products and your services are properly arranged and the search engines which uh, visit your website their uh, robots or their bots they can easily navigate to your website and they can reach the fresh content that you have placed on your website so that the indexing is proper over there at the search engine so the architecture that has been repeatedly found to be most effective and most efficient is the silo architecture which you can see over here the silo architecture so we have this home page over here and then we have the silo of the first level and we have the second level and so on until we reach the content so this is the architecture which makes you the winner of the second part of the battle also so what should be there in your home page the home page should describe your business who you are what you are selling why the visitor should trust you and how to contact you so these are the things which should be there on the home page and before your visitor leaves your home page what is the message you are giving to the visitor in terms of action what action should the visitor take should the visitor call you to get a quote or should the visitor send you an email to get a quote or the should the visitor make a donation or the visitor should register for a course or a training so that is the call to action so that should be there on the home page then there should be the primary contact uh, whatever the mechanism is it a phone number is it an email address or it is a box where somebody can type something and press a button and of course this is all about the home page then is the product and the services now there is no point in writing all the products and all the services just write one place a picture and put a link which takes you the detail so this is some of the things which go into the home page then of course is the sign up form the sign up form re uh, remember that if the person registers on your website or uh, 
uh, or or maybe wants to get a quote as per the action then the less you ask from the visitors the more uh, fill up you are going to get so you have to uh, make a balance between them and then is the credibility in writing the credibility in writing comes from providing evidence it is not sufficient to say that uh, we are a best company provide evidence we are the best service provider provide evidence show don't don't tell uh, give the reports from from your customers give the the testimonials give customer feedback use passive voice and above all share personal stories so that gives the credibility to the writing remember uh, why the customer should trust you now how to get credibility on the web okay how to get credibility online credibility write blogs because when you write the blogs then the visitor knows that you are routinely periodically maybe twice a week writing something it is fresh so there's a less chance that the that uh, that the organization is going to go away with the money of that visitor or that customer and of course when you write blogs you are generating fresh content and that fresh content basically uh, helps increase your ranking in search engine results and the higher you are ranked in search engine results the more credible you are then is the so social media uh, it could be linkedin it could be facebook it could be twitter so you are there you are using those social media platforms and no marketing campaign is complete without using that social media platform so when you have the social media platform and you get the traffic back to you so you are generating those backlinks so backlinks add credibility customer reviews and testimonials uh, people say that somebody can make up the testimonials but remember that there are statistics which show that a uh, testimonial page is one of the most visited pages by the online visitors and customer reviews because people are more likely to accept about an organization third person statement than the organization telling itself that they are good or they are great or they are the greatest so people believe in people be an expert write consistently uh, write in a professional manner write about the latest trends write about latest happenings and that prove that you are an expert and have a be easy to reach it means put a landline number don't only put email address don't be a dodgy website and finally have a good website it doesn't means colorful it means friendly good text easy to navigate good for search engines that's about it